hello 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 queens i'm back at y'all with another client tutorial and today i'm showing y'all how i created this elongated cut crease and without further ado we're jumping straight into the video like all my other tutorials i'm gonna start this off by cleaning my client's face Now that her face is all clean, I'm just gonna go ahead and do her eyebrows. I went ahead and arched them up off camera. So I'm taking my Nika K eyebrow pencil. I believe this one is in the shade black. And I'm gonna use this to outline both of her brows. Now that both of the brows have been outlined, I'm going to start filling in all the sparse areas. Now that I've made my way to the front of the brows, I'm going in with a lighter shade pencil and as you can see, I'm just doing upward hair like strokes and once I have everything filled into my liking, I'm going to take the spoolie end of my pencil and blend everything out and add more if needed. I'm going in with my clear eyelash glue. This one came from Shein. And I'm going to be applying a generous amount of this into her brows. It's going to help me lay her brow hairs down in place. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm taking these two Nika K concealers and they're in the shades 07 and 01. First, I'm going in with the shade 01 and I'm using this to clean up underneath her arch. I like to use a lighter shade underneath the arch just because I like for the arch to be nice and highlighted. Now I'm taking the shade 07 and I'm going to use it to clean up the remainder of the way on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows.
Now that this brow is nice and clean, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process on the other brow. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair Rose. As y'all can see, I'm just blending this evenly over her eyelids. If you are using this product, you want to make sure that you work one eye at a time because it does dry very quickly. I'm taking my RCMA No Color Powder. You can use any translucent powder that you want, but I'm applying this throughout the front of her brows to lighten them up, and I'm also using it to set some of the concealer around her brows in place. To start this look off, I'm going in with my Be Perfect Carnival 3 palette and I'm taking this green, blue, and purple shade. I'm going to have the shade names listed in the description box, but I'm starting with the purple and I'm just applying it in the inner corner of her eye and then I'm going to follow up right behind it with the blue shade because we are going to be doing like an ombre effect with the colors. When doing this look, you want to build up the pigmentation first and then focus on the blending later. So just make sure that your color payoff is there. As you can see, I'm now going in with the green shade. To blend out my base colors, I'm going in with my Pro Fusion Spectrum Palette. This is a drugstore palette, y'all, and it's amazing. But first, I'm blending around the purple. And I'm going to have the shade names for the Spectrum Palette in the description box as well. So y'all can know what specific shades that I did go in with. You want to blend around the edges and then if you feel like you're losing color, you can always go in and reapply. As y'all can see, I decided to go in with a yellow shade and use it to blend out the edges of the green just to add a little bit more color. After blending out the green, I decided to deepen it up a little bit more. So I'm taking the shade Forest from my Carnival palette. I also decided to blend out the edges of the purple a little bit more and I did go in with a touch of hot pink just to add a little bit more to the color scheme. Now I'm just going to quickly follow up with the same routine on the other side.
to cut her crease i'm going to be going in with my elf camo concealer in the shade fair rose and as y'all can see i am trying out a new technique so i took the concealer on this packing brush this is like an eyeshadow packing brush and i'm just pressing it onto her lids I know it looks a little messy right now y'all but bear with me I did really enjoy this technique as you can see I'm just pressing the brush on her eyes and wherever the highest point of the brush reaches I'm gonna go back in with a flat brush and I'm gonna use it to carve out the cut crease so now you can see I'm taking that flat brush and I'm just carving out the cut crease using the guide that the brush gave me I feel like this is a very beginner friendly technique if you struggle with a cut crease I do believe that this is the technique for you because y'all this saved me so much time I'm gonna finish cutting the crease and then I'm gonna go back in with some eyeshadow and cover up the parts that I went a little too high on as you can see the creases are both cut they may be a little uneven but it really doesn't matter for this look because we are gonna go in and cover up the lines with the stones now I'm just setting the cut creases in place using a matte white eyeshadow I'm going back in with that clear eyelash glue and I'm just applying it to the edge of her cut crease where we will be adding the details. First, I'm going to be going in with these two glitters and both of these came from Mermaid Scales. You can find them on Instagram and I mixed them and now I'm just tapping them on top of that glue. Now to add a little bit more details, I'm going to be going in with these crystals and as y'all can see I have some flowers as well. We're just going to be taking a little bit of everything and just randomly placing it on her eyes. I like to go in with my glue applicator and use it to apply all the stones and flowers. I went ahead and finished up the other eye off camera to save us some time and now I'm taking my Wet n Wild black liquid liner and I'm just lining her eyes. I decided just to do a small line to 
blend with her lashes once we get to that step normally i do a wing but i really wanted the cut crease to be the main focus of this look Moving on to the face, I'm going in with my Pond's Moisturizer and I'm going to use this to hydrate her skin. I'm going in with my foundation brush and I'm using it to press the moisturizer into her skin. To prime her face, I'm going in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I like to focus it in the T-zone and then just follow up behind it with my foundation brush the same way I blend out the moisturizer. I'm going in with my Nika K concealer and I'm using it to balance out her skin before we get into the foundation. For her foundation, I'm going in with my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I'm using the shade Spicy Brown. As you all know, I like to just go in with a flat brush and apply a few strokes onto her face and then I just go in with my foundation brush and I press the foundation out. To highlight her face, I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer in the shade number 3. I'm going back in with my foundation brush and I'm going to use it to blend out all of the concealer.
I'm gonna allow the concealer to sit on her face a little longer and move on to contour. To contour her face, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Foundation Stick and the shade name will be in the description box down below. Going in with a flat brush and I'm using it to blend out the concealer underneath her eyes. To set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Morphe Loose Powder in the shade Banana. I like to apply the loose powder on her nose as well and this helps with softening up the nose contour. I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the level light to medium and I'm using this to set the contoured areas of her face. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Loose Powder in the shade Hazelnut and I'm using it to set the remaining areas of her face. I decided to apply a little blush so I'm taking the orange blush from my Julius Place Saharan Blush Palette and I'm just applying it to the apples of her cheeks. Now I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm using it to line the edge of her waterline. I'm taking the colors that I used on her cut crease in reverse and I'm applying them to her lower lash line. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dust away all of the powder.
I'm gonna go ahead and spray her face in place using my Morphe setting spray and then I'm gonna move on to lashes of course I went ahead and cut these to fit her eyes off camera and as I've told y'all in many of my other videos I get all my lashes off of Shein y'all While her lashes are drying, I'm going to go ahead and highlight her face using my Be Perfect Highlighter. Last but not least, I'm taking my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation on a disposable lip wand and I'm using this to outline her lips. I'm taking my Absolute New York liquid lipstick in the color Mink Pink and I'm applying it to the center of her lips. I'm taking my OZ Lab lip gloss in the shade 01 and I'm applying it on top. And once I have her lips fully blended out, that'll be the finished look. And we'll be stepping into the grand reveal. So I'm going to let y'all watch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, you ready to see? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do it to you, oh, said so. See, and I was asleep, <laughs> and you did all this. <laughs> you didn't feel the flower with the charm for nothing. Mm. <laughs> like, Marquis, like, do you see this? Like, do you really see that, though? You got flowers and God, thank you for blessing your <laughs> big eyes and all that good stuff, because this month, that's I just love it here. Like, <laughs> I really, truly do, like, Y'all can't, y'all cannot do makeup like my kids. Okay, queens, as y'all can see by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. Y'all already know that this is my girl. Every time y'all see her in a video, just know the look is about to give everything that it's supposed to give. I think this came out amazing. Let me know down in the comments if this new cut crease technique helped y'all. And if you enjoyed this look, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram because more content is on the way. Stay tuned for my next one. Bye-bye, queens.